Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Want to play PlayStation 2 games on your iPhone running iOS 18? In this video I'll show you how to install the Play emulator with JIT enabled no jailbreak and it is supported for iPhone and iPad devices. This method works perfectly on iOS 18 and gives you smooth gameplay with JIT acceleration, but it needs computer to enable JIT. Let's jump straight in. All right, before we begin, you'll need a few files, the Play Emulator, Sideloadly Installer to install the IPA files on your iDevice and Jitterbug Pair to enable JIT without a computer. Don't worry, I've added all the download links in the description. And in this video, I'll be showing the steps using a Windows PC. First, to run Sideloadly on Windows, you must install iTunes first so that Sideloadly can run and install IPA files without error on your iDevice. Now, after iTunes installed, double-click on the downloaded Sideloadly Windows setup file and click on the next buttons to install it on your Windows. Once the installation process completes, click Finish and it'll open Sideloadly. To install IPA files using Sideloadly, connect your device on which you want to sideload the app using Sideloadly. Now drag and drop the IPA files into Sideloadly. In the Apple ID field, put your Apple ID, you can use any dummy account as well, but make sure the same Apple ID is in your attached device as well. When you click on the Start button, it'll ask you to put in the password for the Apple ID you added. If you have enabled two verifications for your Apple ID, it'll show you another window to enter the second verification code to log in. After that, and hit the Start button. Then automatically, Play Emulator will be installed on your device. Do this for stick JIT IPA files as well. Now, to use the installed app, you need to trust this app first. If you try to open it, it'll ask you to trust it first. For that, go into Settings, General, VPN and Device Management, then tap on your Apple ID and trust the app. Let's go to the steps on how to activate StickJIT to run Play Emulator with JIT. Go back to your Windows. Go to Jitterbug Pair. Extract the files and run it. Make sure your device is connected to the computer with its passcode open. Then Jitterbug Pair will ask you to trust this computer to continue. After clicking Trust, then rerun Jitterbug Pair. Jitterbug Pair will then generate a pairing file within the same folder. This pairing file will have the file X intention mobile device a pairing. Then send the mobile device pairing file to your iDevice. You can send it via email, WhatsApp, Discord, or any transfer files. After that, open StickJIT. Then an error message will appear like in this video. Next, you have to install a VPN for StickJIT. Open the StickJIT website, install Stas VPN on the App Store. Then open Stas VPN and click Connect. You have to allow the permission of the VPN. Allow the VPN on settings and the VPN will automatically connect it. After connected, reopen StickJIT. Then open StickJIT and click Select Pairing File that you sent earlier. After the file pairing is successful, you can now activate JIT without a computer and without an internet connection. Click the Enable JIT button, then select Play Emulator to run it with JIT. Then open the game file you want to play. Copy the file and move it to the play folder. Also make sure the game file has an ISO extension. After that, reopen Play Emulator, then go to Settings, then click Reskin Device for Games. The game will automatically appear on the Home menu. Click the game to run it. If you see the message JIT unavailable, then just ignore it by pressing the Continue button. Automatically, you have successfully installed and played the PS2 game with JIT. Make sure your iPhone or iPad specifications are sufficient for the game you are playing. If it still lags, then you should change the game to a lower quality one because enabling JIT does not fully smooth all games on your device. Just load your legally owned PS2 ISO files into the emulator, tweak your settings, and enjoy smooth gameplay even on the go. If this helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have questions or want more emulator content.